going on everybody it's Manuel here just doing a quick little video uh, this is well this video will be about a, uh, a knife that was just recently give, given to me by a buddy of mine His name is Miguel it was my birthday on Friday the 7th and uh, he stopped by and dropped this off with me uh, here it is so far here is the box KBD master series and then Johnson Adventure Blades and it is a K-Bar knife since 1898 alright let's see let's open this up here's the uh, second part of the box I guess K-Bar K-Bar knives K-Bar knives Oline New York all right, let's open it up and see what's inside. Well, here we go. We have, and I forgot to put it back exactly the way it was packaged. Right away, you can notice it's not traditional K-Bar Marine Corps fighting knife. This is the K-Bar bacon maker Johnson Adventure Blades you can see stamped on there K-Bar nice recurve blade look at that bad boy right there look at that blade and it is sharp enough out of the box to uh shave hair I don't know if you can tell is that a spot right there that I shaved with it I actually did that on uh, Thursday my brother or my buddy uh, dropped this off on Thursday it says 5601 I don't know if that's the steel type or or whatever I haven't done any research on the blade yet but it's not that I've been wanting for a while my buddy got it for me for my birthday Got some chipping right here. Put your thumb on it. It's a pretty stout, hefty blade. Looks like it's about eh, almost a almost a quarter of an inch thick. Pretty sharp. Said I'll be using this when uh next month when I go wild boar hunting. Texture's pretty good see and it also came with this neat little I'll get it out this little knife right here called the piggyback which also has the Johnson Adventure Blades key bar uh, insignia on there it's not stamped though this one as well is sharp enough out of the box to shave with and uh, I've seen a couple of reviews on this knife by itself people say they use this to uh, you know skin animals or do whatever but I was fortunate enough to have it come with the uh, the bacon maker and it's got its own little pocket right there in the sheath and again I don't know what kind of steel this is made out of I said I haven't done any research on it it's got jip in two places a little bit up here we got to get a little bit detailed you know while skinning and then some right here also and it's pretty light um, I'm sure it'll do well for whatever it is I need it to do um, just kind of neat that it came with the blade and it's and it has its own spot in the sheath the sheath itself is excuse me made out of Cordura nylon. It's got some webbing on the back so you can attach it to LBV or a pack, whatever you want to attach it to. And then, of course, it's got the belt loop and a couple of holes down here so that way you can uh, tie it to your leg. It comes with some extra cord for that. Um, it's actually pretty much just boot lace. Um, the knives themselves are made in the, in the uh, USA 
but the sheath is made in China. Uh, seems like a durable sheath. What I like about it is, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's got plastic in there so that way the blade doesn't tear up the nylon. You know. And actually both of them do, both spots for both knives have plastic in there. And then it also has, makes it a little bit awkward, makes the pouch or the sheath a little bit bigger than it needs to be, is this pocket. You could probably do without the pocket. Um, you know, I don't know, I might take it off, make it look, make the sheath itself look a little bit more slimmed down and, you know, something like that. But it comes with this uh, yellow boot lace as well as on the uh, tie down right here for the pocket now there's another Johnson Adventure blade that K-Bar has it's called the Pot Belly it's a different type of blade of course but it'll come with the piggyback and the same type of sheath uh, I've seen that one on uh, Cheaper Than Dirt uh, by the way Cheaper Than Dirt is not very cheap at least their shipping isn't that's why they suck Anyhow, said so here's my bacon maker by K Bar. This is just one badass looking knife, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna do real good when it comes to uh, skinning and pretty much anything else I need to do. And then this little boy right here, bad boy. Anyhow, that's my little video. I said not really a review. I don't have all the details and specs, and of course I haven't even used it yet, except for shaving a little spot on my arm. But uh, just want to thank my buddy Miguel for uh, giving me this badass knife or these badass knives for my birthday. Really appreciate it. Can't wait to go out with you, go hunting, and uh, see what the hell we can cut up. All right, everybody. You have a good night.